at some point during the last two years losing confidence in yourself. What really helped you kind of get that back and, and start playing more confident? Well, really, Coach, you just like tell me, like, just finish plays. Whatever happens, happens. Just don't think too much. Mm -hmm. Just attack the ball, attack whoever got the ball. So that kind of played a big role in me building a lot of confidence on the field, just like finishing plays. Have you gotten to the point where you're not thinking as much because you know the plays and you're able to just play faster? Yes, sir. I, I know the plays, so I don't really have to think about, like, what the call is just like mm -hmm. me, me knowing the calls, I can just already position myself to where, where I need to be. So that's something I'm, I'm basically, um, yeah. Second nature to you kind yeah. of. What'd you see from Brad in his return to the field? Um, I, I believe he wanted to make plays. He wanted to help his team out. So him making a return, it was a big thing for us so we can get our duck back and be fully strong. Covering a fumble there, just right out the gate. I mean, turnover tandem almost. Yes, sir. Uh, he he talked about that. He was like, "Hey, bro, you gotta look, look what I just did." So I was like, "All right, I'm gonna look at it." So him yeah, making a him up. him making a turnover like his first game back, I felt like that was important to him and also to the team. So that helped me build. Like you feel me? So that was a good thing on his part. What were you watching there in the second interception? Huh? What were you watching the second interception? Because it looks like the receiver runs the wrong route, but. I really, ball. I really looked at the quarterback, and when he made eye contact with me, I already knew he was throwing the ball my way. And when the uh, receiver looked at me also, I already knew that I was throwing the ball my way, so I just had to keep my leverage and make a big play on the ball. Was it you going for three when Kyrie came down? Yeah, he, I think he, he snatched it from you? He was hating on me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this rivalry like? You guys have I mean, rivalries with Georgia and Florida State. Where is Tennessee kind of stack up for you personally? Um, we don't treat them any different. I feel like this is a big game for us mm -hmm. also to go in 4-0. Like 3-0 to 4-0, that's a big jump. So we just got to play it like any other game. Like don't take it, no team for granted. So we just got to play, prepare, and just win a game. You faced both Kyle Trask and Felipe Franks under center. What is the difference between both of those quarterbacks? I don't know. Both can run a ball, both can throw. So that's really hard to say. You guys have been doing uh, rotation, it seems like, uh, with the safeties. You've got two guys that play together um, and then kind of rotate. Is, is there a method to that? Do you guys know when you're going in and going out? Yeah, that's something that we had did as a group. So we already know when we're going in, who's coming out, when and what time. So the basic, basically the reason why we do that because we feel comfortable with all our guys playing in, like, in big time games and little time games, anything. So that's something that we chose on our part and Coach English agreed with it. Is it set all the way through the game or is it kind of like, hey, if somebody's playing well in, in, no, third, in the third quarter, fourth quarter, they'll just leave in the hot hand? No, it, it's set all through the game unless like Coach forget or something like to tell somebody to go in. Like, but other than that, it's set all through the game. You ever have to like, tap him on the back or any coaches? Nah, because he's he hitting, hitting a box. <laughs> You guys hearing Rocky Top yet in practice? Hmm? Are they playing Rocky Top yet at practice? Nah, I wasn't really paying attention to the music, so I, okay. I wasn't. <laughs>